Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube channel or YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, guys. For the newcomers, my name is Jite Hutu, and today I'm creating this TA video for the last time from this beautiful terrace, rooftop terrace, with this amazing view of the sea and those palm frames, because today we are going to move to the new house that you already saw we paid with Bitcoin. It's going to be a cool house, but you see that house in a video tomorrow, a family video tomorrow. Today, a short TA video, because I need to pack the bags, uh, and then put them all in the car and then move the whole family to the new house so a short TA video but really cool powerful charts yes the four hour chart on Bitcoin but also some cool charts created by a very good friend of mine and um, that you want to see you don't want to miss it I will keep them to the end so you watch the whole video from beginning till the end let's jump into the charts because I need to keep it really short today Bam. This is the first um, chart I'm going to show you. This is the four hour chart, guys. And um, like we said yesterday in the four hour chart, we broke out and we are going to this level over here. Eh? That was beautiful. And then we said at the yellow uh, moment there, uh, at a the short moment, we could retrace to the yellow stepping line. The moment we close down below the yellow stepping line, we are going to fall back to the next level of support. At the moment, that is that the green line. This green line, you can see if you look to the left, it was already support over there, it was support over there, it was support over there. And when we broke it, we came up and we found support over there. So now we expect that if we fall even further, that Bitcoin will fall to that green line, which is around 53,000 US dollars. This one needs to keep the support. The red line is the 21 moving average, which is about the middle of this cloud. The bottom of the cloud is in line with that green line. So I think we will find support over there. So this yellow can become bigger. Yes, we can even see some blue, but in my opinion, we will find support and it will be a little bit sideways before we go up into the next run. But let's see what will happen. I will tell you more in tomorrow's video when I have more time. In the next chart, we are going to look at Ethereum, this one. Bam! Very important. Yes, it looks different. Why does it look different? It's a weekly chart and it is Ethereum to BTC. And why do I want to show you this chart? Because at the moment, Ethereum is doing really well. You know, we are at 0.05 Bitcoin, which is an amazing new all-time high for Ethereum. But if we compare the Ethereum bull run of 2017, then we didn't break the previous all-time high yet. Because during the bull run of 2017, guys, Ethereum even went, this is June 2017, to 0.15 BTC. The bull run peak was here in December, so that was uh, December 2017, January 2018. Ethereum went to 0.12 BTC. So in dollar value, yes, Ethereum broke its previous all-time high. But in Bitcoin volume, Ethereum is not even on the health of the previous all-time high. So if Ethereum would go to this level of 0.12 Bitcoin, just do the calculation. And Ethereum should be around USD dollars, 6,000 US dollars or something like that. So yes, there is a huge upward move, word, uh, move for Ethereum possible. I'm not going to add it. Sorry for these small mistakes. And yes, how do you see this? Oh, if we go back to the Ethereum US dollar chart, you can see 2,700 US dollar. We are going for that 3K. That is what we try to reach with Ethereum. But again, like I said, if we look back onto the chart that we just showed with compared to Bitcoin, we are far away from the previous all-time high of 0.12 or even 0.15. We are above the all-time high of 2016 here, that, that, that part that was like 0.03. So I think there is a huge move possible for Ethereum. But let's see. Um, if we look at Bitcoin, it's very important to understand that yes, the short flag is the bam bam indicator, this is green. Uh, after a short flag, if you missed this short, there will be a long flag. There will be a new bus. 
that long flag we are going to analyze again will it be a flag will we close above the yellow stepping line will we see the green hill starting will we see the green line on top all of that stuff we will see yes there is even I, that is really bad i don't have the bam bam indicator on the chart that is like terrible Didi. you're like really bad uh, we also need to see the bam bam crossing that white line tomorrow is a day that 4.2 billion options expire this is an important day i showed you this yesterday already the buyers and the sellers want to keep this price around 54,000 us dollar because that would be the most safest level for all of them it would take them all to the highest profits profits so i think we will close tomorrow around 54,000 us dollar and then we will see what happened if we close around that level Will we see a squeeze? Will we see a pump? See, will we see a dump? We will all see this tomorrow. So tomorrow is an exciting day. Let's jump into the next chart. This one. Bam. Willy Hu. He's a good friend of mine. I met him in Thailand. Uh, we spent some time, some months together there in Koh Phangan. Uh, I think he's one of the best uh, on-chain and off-chain analytics out there. If you look at his chart, this one. I really like this one. He's saying... At the moment, Bitcoin has roughly the same users that the internet had in 1997. So let's take a look at that chart. Internet is this line over here, this purple one. In 1997, internet was at the level of 100 million users, let's say 120 million users. Bitcoin, at the moment, if you look at this green line, users, we are now at the level that internet was. We have around 135 million Bitcoin users. If we would continue this growth, we would grow all the way to 1 billion users in 2025. That's in the next four years to 1 billion users. That would bring us to the level of internet in 2005. And if we keep growing after that to the level we are now, we will grow to over 2 billion users in Bitcoin. If we would grow to over 2 billion users in Bitcoin, what do you think that would do to the price? 2 billion users want to have Bitcoin, need Bitcoin, hold Bitcoin, store Bitcoin, use it as a peer-to-peer -peer cash, whatever they want to do with their Bitcoins. 2 billion users. The amount of Bitcoin around will stay the same. We have only 21 million Bitcoins. And we can divide it now with 100 million users, but then with 1 billion users, and after that with 2 billion users. So if you need to divide the same amount of Bitcoins, the 21 million, with an increasing amount of users, the offer stays the same, the demand is growing, what do you think it is going to do with the price? That is why we believe in the logarithmic growth curve of Bitcoin. That is why we believe in Plan B and all those other models. Let's take a look at these charts as well. This one is very important. Bam! This is a website. This is Winnie Wu's website. Charts.wubull.com Wubull.com, I need to say. Sorry, Wubull. <laughs> Charts.wubull.com Very important chart. The Bitcoin NVT ratio. The yellow line is the Bitcoin price. You can see the Bitcoin price going up. That's what we know. Then the bottom here, this red line, is the NVT line. The green dotted line is the buy line. That's when we hit that with the NVT line, we buy. And the red line is the one where we start to look to sell. Very simple line. If we look to the moments that the red line touched the bottom or came below the green line, it was a buying opportunity. Look here, in 2016, if, 16, if we would have bought, when we went below the green line, we would have bought Bitcoin at this point over there, around, I, I, I think Bitcoin would be at that point below $800. If we would have Bitcoin again here in 2017, when we went below that green line, that was at that point, we would still buy Bitcoin around $3,000. US dollars. So we would have had this times seven to the bull on top of 20K. If we would have bought Bitcoin around that moment here when the NVT line became, uh, came, 
under this green line again, we would have Bitcoin, bought Bitcoin around 3,800 US dollars in December 2018. And the next time we could buy it even here again, touch the green line, which would have been Bitcoin around 35 US dollars, 35,000 US dollars, which we would have doubled by now. And now we see this line going to that green line again. I think we are going to maybe touch that green line again. And if we will touch that green line again, that means it's another beautiful buying opportunity. Even now that we are coming near this green line, for me, it's already a beautiful buying opportunity. Because if you look to the left on the chart, you can see that every time that line came below the green line or near the green line and you bought Bitcoin, the value increased tremendously. I hope that was clear. That was the last chart of today. It was a short, powerful TA video. Not that much humor today. Why didn't I do, do, do it? Ah, I'm busy in my head. I need to move and all that stuff. But I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Please leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? Also visit Willy Woo's website that uh, I just shared with you, charts.woobull.com. Uh, also watch the other video today that I was able to rent a house with Bitcoins. I converted a real estate agent to accepting Bitcoins. All you Bitcoin lovers out there, if you make those profits that you're making, rent your Bitcoins peer to peer now at this real estate agent's Playa Properties um, here in Playa Carmen because you save the fees of PayPal, converting your Bitcoin, all that stuff you can pay with bitcoin directly you can rent the most beautiful houses here and spend time with an amazing crypto community and playa more than 140 people in the groups meeting every time on the community on the on the meetups in tulum same thing guys made more than 50 people every wednesday on the meetups mexico is booming when it comes to crypto I'm going to zoom out now and I want to remember you to, I want you to remind, I want you to remember to always zoom out in Bitcoin and zoom in a life, try to enjoy life as much as possible every single minute of the day. I lost the track over there, yes, because that is exactly what life is about. Uh, thanks for watching, enjoy the other video as well, I wish you an amazing Thursday and see you Friday tomorrow again, bam!